Hey there traders, this is Steve Miley, the Market Charters for FX Explained and uh, one of our regular uh, update videos in here. Um, today we're looking at the S&P 500 E-mini future, uh, the benchmark future um, on the benchmark average in here um, for the US um, equity indices. So um, strong rebound in here uh, from the end of last week, actually from Friday and then up um, through this downtrend line in here, this September downtrend line, uh, the significant sell-off we saw in September that shifted the intermediate term outlook from bullish to neutral. We've got a broader range now. We see these peaks up here pretty much between 34, 2025 in here, uh, to capping the top side up through there will be a more bullish theme. Down through this platform support, we held there at 31.98, <clears throat> excuse me, 31.98 last week. We held above this platform support area, again around this 31.90 to 88 area um, that was produced in, in the middle of July. And we launched from that platform for the strong August rally. So uh, held there. This is the broader range. So as I say, really 34.25 down to like 31.88. Um, so bearish pressures um, have been eased by this rebound that we saw. Um, on Friday and then again on Monday to reverse this downtrend line. And the market has rolled back lower in here um, um, overnight in here or yesterday and then overnight um, um, with um, some concerns around the uh, presidential um, debate that we had yesterday and particularly around the transfer of power, Trump being a bit ambiguous regarding the transfer of power. And that's obviously a negative for the market um, should he lose the election uh, and not um, have an easy transition of power. So um, markets kind of dipped um, um, after the debate in here, kind of fairly firm through the and then dipped uh, after the debate or towards the end of the debate when that kind of came up. Um, whilst holding above this 33.03 and a half, that's the overnight low. Whilst holding there, you kind of hang on to a positive tone for today. But if it breaks down through there, then we could easily see it down to 32.82. Probably looking for support, though, to kick in down there from this whole recovery rally that we saw from Friday through Monday. So very short term, probably looking for upside pressures to stay intact. Bigger picture, and the threat is probably still to the downside in here. I'm going to wish you all a great trading day. Please do stay safe out there, and I'll be back with you with another video report in here very soon.